Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our dual sport helmet overview and sizing guide at Revzilla.com. Now, on the table in front of me, I have five key dual sport helmets. We call them dual sport, enduro, hybrid helmets. What they really are, if you're new to this realm, it's a helmet that Arai invented with the original XD, and this is the XD4 in front of me. And what it is, it's a play on the dirt world. So you take a dirt helmet configuration, you add a shield to it, and you make a visor that is much more aerodynamic for higher speed. So again, it's like a succession on a dirt helmet that's gonna vent really well, be aggressive, and a lot of guys have really adopted these within that adventure market. So think dual sport is on-road, off-road, so a helmet that's gonna perform well at high speed on-road, but also when you take it off-road in the dual sport in the upright position on your 12GS, on your 800GS, on your KTM 990 Adventure, this is a great helmet that's gonna have a more off-road usability and functional scheme that will cover you on both bases. Now there are some trade-offs when you get into this dual sport realm. A lot of times it's a, bigger, it's a bigger profile, it's a little bit noisier, and you get more airflow. So sometimes in the winter, depending on your temperature tolerance, it could be a little bit of a cooler helmet. But in the summer, the beauty is that with the visor up or down, you're gonna get a tremendous amount of air. And I'm gonna walk through these helmets at a glance and talk about some of the nuances here, but also you have the ability to wear a pair of goggles underneath your, underneath of your shield. So again, you get that flexibility. Let's jump in really quickly right into size. Most of what I have on the table in front of me, and let me rattle them off really quickly, AFX, FX39, AGV, AX8 DS Evo helmet, Arai XD4, Shoei Hornet DS helmet, and I have the Icon variant helmet, which is really a hybrid helmet, and I'm going to tell you in a second, it's not really an off-road helmet, but we have it here because it's inspired by this design. From a sizing standpoint, everything I have on the table is going to be intermediate oval, so slightly longer front to back than it is around, except for the AFX FX39, which is going to be more of a round shape. Now, to measure up, we have a size chart, a sizing video. We have videos on every dual sport helmet that we have on the site, so watch that specific video, whether it's on Revzilla TV, which you're watching probably right now, you can currently subscribe to, or on the product detail page on our revs on revzilla.com you can get any sizing nuances and functional nuances from these helmets in those videos but as a rule of thumb i'm going to bring peter on really quickly i'm going to show you in 10 seconds how easy is it to size somebody so i have peter standing in my left i have a soft tape measure you can do it with the soft tape which is a tailor's tape or a piece of string peter's the guy buying the helmet i'm his friend i'm going to help him figure out what size he is to look at our size chart so i'm going to undo my measure here to ask peter to turn face away from me i'm going to go right above his eyebrows I'm gonna come around the widest part of his head, come together, Peter's right around 23 inches. And I would take that 23, and I'm gonna go right back to my size chart, and I'm gonna figure out what size Peter is. And remember, if you're right on the cusp in between sizes, if you're not sure about your shape, watch that video, it's gonna give you a nuance. Other things, stay there before Peter gets away. I wanna talk about Peter's head shape really quickly. Straight on, if Peter looks straight on, Peter is an intermediate oval head shape. He's longer front to back than he is side to side. Peter's gonna be a good fit for all of these helmets. Peter might stretch into this rounder shaped FX39, but for the most part, Peter's gonna work well on any of these other helmets on the table that are intermediate oval. Thanks, Peter. So moving on, let's talk about helmets specifically. Let's talk about functionality here. We've talked about peaks, we've talked about ranges. Let me give you an idea of price ranges here in the dual sport universe. Typically, you can get a dual sport helmet even though it is beefed up functionality for under 200 bucks. I'm gonna go right out on the limb and I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna curate it for you. The best dual sport helmet under $200 is the AFX FX39. Sub $200, there's the GM11 from G-Max, you have the Joe Rocket hybrid helmet, you have some other helmets in there, but really bang for the buck from a functional standpoint, the visor is going to take, it's gonna allow you to have the ability to have your goggle strap underneath of it. I believe it's nine intakes, fully removable washable liner, DOT as well as ECE2205. What are you giving up by spending 150 bucks or 120 bucks versus spending 500? It's the creature comforts. It's the nicety and some of the finishing materials. It's the weight. This is going to be a heavier helmet because it's a polycarb shell versus a composite fiberglass or even carbon fiber. And go from there. But watch the FX39. For those of you that want a sub $200 dual sport helmet, this has been the stable. We've sold thousands of these. If you check out the, if you check out the video, I break it all down for you. Moving past there, you kind of move into that mid-range, what I'm going to consider the mid-range of dual sport helmet. And there are really two that live in that market. The first one is going to be the AF, or I'm sorry, the AGV AX8 DS Evo. This is really a dual sport. That's that DS version of the AX8 um, Evo helmet, which is the full dirt helmet. They've added a nice shield instead of a full-on vent. You have an open and closable vent. 
This is one of the helmets that doesn't take goggles really well because it's a complete seal. I spent about a thousand miles in Italy riding the Italian legendary tour with this helmet. In this range, this is the most lightweight of these helmets. So it's ECE as well as DOT. There's a carbon fiber component to the matrix here. Nice finishing guts. Um, I would like to see them get even more friendly to Bluetooth communicator systems. It's using the IVS system, which they've stolen from the GP Tech. A lot of integration here, and I'm going to turn it sideways. In my opinion, this is the most aggressive looking of the dual sport helmets. And notice you can really easily remove this visor system. There are There is a piece that, that covers those holes if you want to turn it into more of that Motard style look. We have a lot of guys that do that. They take the peak off, and then these things just look like fighter fighter helmets. They're really wild. My, AFA, or my AGV AX8 Devo is actually sitting in my office, signed by Giacomo Agostini, but I have the same colorway. It was awesome for me. Moving past that, still sub $400. You have the Icon variant, and it's hilarious. For this video, we wanted to go with silvers and gunmetals just so you had a comparison of look and blacks. This is the most boring colorway of this helmet. It's going to match everything. This is a more mature style. I love it because it's timeless, but they make graphic versions. They make high-vis versions. The Icon variant helmet comes in a construct version where you actually see underneath the actual panels of, of fiberglass that are used to construct it. In my opinion, it's actually really a hybrid style helmet that has a wild look for it that's designed for more street, street use. It's not going to take goggles very well, and it's designed to do that. A lot of times Icon will say, guys, stop touting it as a dual sport helmet. It's not. In our opinion, the style is dual sport, even though it's meant to be very aerodynamic and really just be an aggressive helmet that's geared for street riding but has that dual sport look. From there, then we go into this top end, or what I'm going to consider the premium category. You have your Shoei Hornet DS, and you have your Arai XD4. They're the only two Snell rated helmets that I have on the table. They come in high-vis versions, they come in graphic versions. The Arai XD4 really is the newest version, new for 2012. It has emergency cheek pad removal system. You have brow vents on this helmet. Um, you're gonna have an upgraded shape with a lot of venting properties, and it's gonna take a it's gonna take a goggle really, really well. The XD4 is what I'm currently wearing. It is the Rolls Royce of these helmets. It's the only helmet on the table north of $500, and it commands that rightly so. Also, with both of these helmets, they're going to have um, nylon or plastic bolts so these so their visors shear off in case of a crash they don't catch on anything and they really have a nice aggressive look. I'm going to turn the XD4 sideways for you and these helmets I will say the XD4s look absolutely wild with the graphics off. They also have some matte colored versions. Now the Shoei Hornet DS it's not Snell 2010 it's Snell 2005 it's also DOT rated it will take goggles really well nice great seal around the eye port. They're similar fit shapes they're both intermediate ovals. Now the Shoei's going to be intermediate oval the Arai is intermediate oval but it also has adjustable cheek pads and adjustable crown so you can actually tune the comfort liner that comes with it. Again that's part of that increased investment but the Shoei Hornet DS is between that four and five hundred dollar mark to start and you're really looking at this helmet it's going to do everything really really well all encompassing cool max interior removable washable guts watch a full detailed breakdown video that we have on the showy hornet ts actually watch a full detailed breakdown video on any of the dual sport helmets that i have in front of me you're going to really want to understand what you're buying understand the nuances i walk through shell construction i talk about the difference between polycarbonate and when you get into these tricomposite um, fiberglass, Dyneema, Kevlar carbon fiber blends that go into all of these helmets. We talk about weights. You really want to understand what you're getting, but at a base level in this video, I wanted to talk through the basics of choosing a dual sport helmet. From fit to positioning to cost investment. And remember, like any brand of helmet, you're really getting what you pay for here at Revzilla.com. It's a safety, it's an emergency and safety um, element that's protecting the most important vital organ, which is your head and your brain, and you want to know what you're buying getting into this realm. Leave us your comments on this video. If you think we missed anything, if you think we got anything wrong, if you think that there's a helmet that's on its merit, should be sitting at this table, I certainly want to hear from you. On Revzilla TV, like I said, you can subscribe to us. We put out new video every day. That's our YouTube channel. Or on the product detail page at Revzilla.com in the Q&A section or in the reviews section. Also, everybody at Revzilla wears lots and lots of the gear that we sell. There's a full team of gear geeks here. Shoot us a line, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. And as always, anything here that's over 39 bucks ships for free, exchanges for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. So don't worry if you get the wrong size, we'll make it really, really easy to swap out for the perfect sized helmet. Lastly, anything over 100 bucks. Earns Teamzilla Cash at Revzilla.com, our way to save you some money on your next order by earning money and rolling it over to that next order, Teamzilla Cash, look it up at Revzilla.com. And you can find our modular section of helmets at Revzilla.com slash modular. I'm Anthony, shoot us a line with any of those questions. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of what we consider to be our dual sport overview and sizing guide at Revzilla.com. See you next time.